Hello everyone, my name is Rohan Sanyal. I'm an application engineer with Design Point, and today I'm going to actually show you a couple of tricks with PDM and SOLIDWORKS. So the beauty of PDM is that you can see the information of your part file or assembly file or drawing file simply at the click of a button without having to open up the file. So how does this work? So let me first show you what this looks like in practice. I have a couple of CAD files here. So without opening up the part, I'm just gonna select the first part here and you'll notice a data card shows up. This data card is crucial for me to be able to see the information about the part file without wasting time by opening it up and closing it back out. So I know right off the bat that this part number is C-02645. And if I opened up the part, you'll end up seeing that the custom property is also C-02645. So how does this work? It's actually really, really simple. And what we're going to do is we're going to need the admin tool for PDM to show how this uh, operates in the background. So here's our trusty admin tool. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to log into my vault. Preferably, you want to do this as an admin. And have the correct login. That's usually helpful as well. Right, awesome. So now that we're in here, let's talk about how we can set this up. PDM uses variables to show you the custom properties of your documents inside your part file. So to do so, let's take a look at the card that's used for my part files here. They're typically file cards, <clears throat> and you'll notice I have a, quite a few of them here, but luckily it's a very simple SOLIDWORKS part card, and you can tell by the extension next to it. Let's open this guy up and it's opened up right here. So you'll notice that this is a spitting image of what you see in the file explorer here, and that it should be, because what it's using is it's that that's a template for my card. So let me bring up my card again. Uh, there you go. So to set this up, let's first look at the variable here. If I look at my variable, you'll notice I've established a variable inside PDM called number, and I've set that variable up as a field here. The way to do that is very simple. So let's say I'm going to set up a new variable. I'm going to choose my edit control box, click this, anywhere around here, and you'll notice that this is exactly the same as all the other fields you see here. And then this becomes very simple. The next thing I'm going to do is, in the variable name, I'm going to choose from my drop-down list of variables that I've set up in PDM pre uh, previously. Let me go ahead and find number here. Awesome. So this is going to show number for me. How is this number set up, though? Just simply linking it to number isn't enough. So if we click variables underneath, you'll notice that it gives me my variable editor in front of us. Now I know there's a lot of stuff here, but I promise I'm going to simplify it and make sure it's really, really simple. Right off the bat, it brings up the number. And this is how we're going to set up the mapping for PDM and SOLIDWORKS. The first thing, the variable name, you just want to call it whatever you want. I would highly recommend keeping it one-to-one -one with what you use in SOLIDWORKS. So just call it number. That's it. The next thing, the variable type, is this is just going to be a text. You have the options between date, decimal number, integer number, and a yes or no. For most of your variables, you're just going to use text. And this is where all the magic happens. The attributes are how you set up where PDM is going to look inside SOLIDWORKS to bring up that number. So. Let's actually take a look at the part itself, and I'll show you where you see this number. If I open up the E-Ring external ring itself, forgive me, my uh, computer obviously takes its sweet time with opening up these part files. All right, and beautiful. So let me bring this up here. Okay. Oh, of course, as soon as I click out of it, it brings it out. Awesome. I see my part file here. So let's see, where is it pulling this number from? It's actually very simple. PDM works in tandem with SOLIDWORKS in the way that it uses the custom properties of the part file to bring in the information. So you'll notice that the custom properties of this part file has values for number, which reads C-02645. So that's exactly where I'm going to tell PDM to look to grab this number to then display on the data card. Let me go ahead and minimize this. And let's go back to our card editor. So the way to set this up is very, very crucial, actually. 
what you're going to do is, let me actually get rid of this attribute, because this is the one in question that we're going to set up. This is how you have PDM talk to SOLIDWORKS directly. Let me remove this attribute, and let's set up a new one. I'm going to click New Attribute here, and the first part of it is the block name. So this is kind of the first pointer in the address that you're going to give PDM to look inside SOLIDWORKS to get that value. So the block name for, P for SOLIDWORKS is actually just called Custom Property, because you remember, all that information that I'm going to pull is in the custom properties of the part. The next thing is, if, I'm, if PDM is looking at the custom property, where inside the custom property should I pull the number? Well, this is the most crucial part of how to set up this mapping. You want to make sure that this is verbatim the same thing, case sensitive as well, that you see inside SOLIDWORKS. So for instance, you'll notice that my N here is capitalized. If I open up SOLIDWORKS and go back to my custom properties, my N is also capitalized here. So every, the exact word you see here has to be the same inside the card editor in the attribute name. Fantastic. Once we have that set up, we're almost there. The last thing is we have to apply the file extensions for PDM to look for. So for all of my SOLIDWORKS part files, I'm just going to use the SLD ASM, SLD DRW, and SLD DR PRT. I'm going to just use the classic these three. You'll, have, you'll notice there are a bunch of different extensions here for other part files that can be found inside SOLIDWORKS. It's not just SOLIDWORKS part files you can put in there. So you'll notice there's a plethora of different options we have. And then that's it. That's all you have to do. Once you've established the extensions, the block name, and the attribute, you are now able to bring the number from your SOLIDWORKS part file inside the PDM. Just click OK. Go ahead and click Save. Make sure to always save after you make changes to your uh, document and your card editor. Let's exit out of this, bring this guy down. And if I were to just click anywhere else and back here, you'll notice, there you go, my number is now being shown, and that's the simplest way to go about it. Hope this was helpful, and thank you very much.